It's uh, Dr. Games and I wanted to go over with you today how to take a group of mp3 files, concatenate them all into one file, import them into iTunes, and push them over into Audible so that you could use it on a portable device. Uh, many of you have tried to use mp3 files and uh, it doesn't keep track of where you're at in them. They're unwieldy, uh, etc. So this is an easier way to do it and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you how. You have to have several things for this to work and I'll have those listed down below in the comments. But one is a program called FFmpeg which you can either download the source code for yourself and compile it or there's executables that you can get for Linux and Windows and Macintosh, etc. Another program that you're going to need is iTunes, obviously. So here we go. First of all, we have to get to the directory where I have the uh, the files waiting. If you're going to change drives, and I'm on a Windows system, and I'm going to go from my C drive, my operating system, over to the T drive, you have to use the slash D command. In fact, the directory where I have these which is Angie Sage's Pathfinder. I really enjoyed the whole Septimus Heap series and the continuation of that's the uh, first book in the next series called Pathfinder. And I have the various parts of that here. What I'm gonna do is it's a two-step process. First thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the names of all of the uh, MP3s and put them into a my text. And that is the command I'm going to do that with. And the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to then put the completed files out into one large MP3 file. Now, just because I didn't want us waiting while I was doing that online, this is, uh, I will show you what those files look like. So, and it, uh, they run relatively quickly. So here's what that, the, with all the Pathfinder subparts looks like that we can use as part of the batch. And then you see it took all of these individual sub portions and put them into one long nine hour mp3 that is the first part so we don't need to have the command window open anymore now we go into itunes now more recent version of itunes don't automatically have the uh, the file importer available but if you hit Control b it will bring it up and I will go ahead and add a file to my library. I routinely just add do control B as soon as I get this in. So I, I'll go over to the T workspace again and we'll go to Pathfinder and we see the complete MP3. We're going to go ahead and import that. All right, so I see that that file is there now. Now I'm going to highlight it, right click on it, and go to Get Info. And we're gonna change some things about it. So first of all, it's gonna be Pathfinder. It's gonna be by Angie Sage, just helps me keep track of it. And genre, I'm gonna put it into spoken word, just so I remember what it says. I will go over here to options and I'm going to remember playback position, skip when shuffling, and I'm going to change it to dun 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 and audio. And now um, you can, if you want to, change this to a, a vocal booster or spoken word. Um, you don't have to. And I'm going to click on this, and lo and behold, when we notice happens, over, it's going through, it's making its changes, and it disappears from the music list. So now we'll want to go over here to books, and you'll actually find it as an audiobook. And you're going to click on sync audiobooks, and then uh, it only gives the option remove and sync because they don't want it as a pirating mechanism. That's all there is to it. And then after that point, it will show up in your, your Audible. 